As the saying goes, the riches are in your list. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the biggest mistake that I made with email marketing with my YouTube channel. So hopefully you will not make the exact same stupid mistake that I did. Whether it's for your business or you make content online, then it is really worthwhile building up a big solid list of emails. Normally when we are trying to contact either our customers or our followers, we are depending on some sort of social media algorithm to try and get our message across there. Sometimes it gets there and sometimes it doesn't. And even worse, a lot of people are paying paid advertising on the likes of Facebook and Google to try and get in front of their customers' eyes. When you have a solid list of emails, you do not have to rely on that algorithm to get to the end user. You might be thinking to yourself, ah, email marketing, that's pretty much dead. Nobody even opens any of these emails anymore. But let's have a look at some stats and see what really actually happens. So MailChimp did this study and I'm just going to show you the average across all industries. So roughly 21% of people actually open any email that you will send as a part of an email marketing campaign. Obviously that will depend a lot on the title and probably your previous content that you have already sent out to them as well. And again, this will vary slightly from industry to industry. If we look a bit further again, roughly 2.6% of people will click on a link or do the preferred action, whatever you want them to do, whether it's buy a product or sign up for some affiliate deal. So that would mean if you wanted to get at least 100 sales or 100 people signing up to say an affiliate deal, then you're going to need at least an email list of roughly around 3,800 people. It might not be as hard as you think to get up to those kind of numbers. The biggest mistake that I made was not starting to do it straight away. When I started my YouTube channel, I was thinking of building up an email list to go alongside it, and I even signed up to MailChimp. It was kind of the only one that I was aware of at the time, and I started messing around with their different templates and their landing pages, just to try and get to understand how they work, and I created like two different campaigns. And then I completely forgot about it altogether. I was thinking to myself, oh, I'll have to just go away and try and build up some trust with all of my different followers before I can actually go and try and ask them for their email addresses. That's until I logged back into my MailChimp account for the first time again last week and I actually saw some of the results from the campaigns that I did in my first couple of weeks of doing YouTube. The stats on these really had me kicking myself that I didn't continue on building my email list. I definitely could have built it up to a couple of thousand if I just kept going with it but stupidly I stopped and never looked back at it. So I'm going to show you some of those stats right now and then show you how easy it is to build some of these landing pages to capture email addresses on MailChimp. My thought process at the time was the best way I could possibly get a couple email addresses was to give away something of value completely for free in return for that email address. So at the time I was very interested in Shopify e-commerce stores and as part of that it can be very annoying to try and get back to customers all of the time when they're asking how far along their delivery is and how, how many days they have to wait until their package arrives. So I did a bit of research and I found a bit of code online that could allow you to build a page on your Shopify e-commerce store that will allow the customer to track all of their deliveries themselves. So I then created a YouTube video around this topic showing people how to add it in and in the link below in the description section was a link to a landing page where people could input their email address and then download the code that they needed for their Shopify store. In email marketing, you would probably call that video a lead magnet and then the link through to MailChimp, that is where you get your landing page where you actually capture your email addresses. So I had just started YouTube at the time. I didn't have any equipment at all and I was pretty terrible. I'm not much better now, but I was a lot worse back then at making videos. So the video was pretty much awful. It got roughly 515 views at the time I'm recording right now, but I was shocked at the stats of how many people actually gave me their email address just from 515 views. So the stats were I got 83 emails from a video with 515 views. So that's a return rate of 16 or 17%. So I thought that was pretty unbelievable for a pretty crap video. So I have just popped over to MailChimp now and I'm just going to briefly show you how easy it is to create a landing page where you can capture email addresses to build your list. So this is the dashboard that you are going to see and all you have to do basically to get going is to click create campaign. You have a couple of different options here. You can create a landing page or you can even embed a form in your website if you want to. There's lots of different templates and forms and everything you can use here. But what I'm gonna do here is look at building a landing page. 
Again, they have lots of different designs and types that you can customize. I'm just going to go with something very simple here like grow your list. So basically all you have to do is add in your text and your logo and everything onto this page. And then when you want to decide on what file or whatever product or PDF that you're giving away for free in exchange for the email address, all you have to do is just click on email address here. Scroll down to the text, so you're going to have to customize the text. So this is the confirmation message that they will get once they give you their email address. Then you need to click on this link here and change this link to section here. You need to change it to file. And then basically what you need to do is upload the file that that person is going to download when they give you their email address. And it's as simple as that. It's all very automated and there's very little for you to actually do once you have it set up and running. As I said, I created one of these campaigns almost a year and a half ago and it has been running since and gathering email subscribers ever since and I haven't had to do anything. The only other time that I tried to capture a few emails was to post on my community page on my YouTube channel and that got roughly about 29 different email addresses to my list as well. Um, but a lot less obviously because I wasn't really giving away anything. I was just telling people that I'm going to start sending out a newsletter which I still haven't got around to doing. But anyway that is the gist of what I wanted to get across in this video. I'm still really kicking myself that I didn't rinse and repeat that process over and over for the last year and a half. I could have easily built up a couple of thousand email subscribers on my list. And that would have added a lot to what I plan on doing in the future with my YouTube channel and everything else. So if you are just starting out with your business or you're creating content online, don't be afraid to try and test out a few different things trying to build up an email list if that's what you're interested in because it could be a lot of value to you down the line, especially when you can control the audience yourself. It could be worth a lot to you down the line. So that's pretty much it for the video today. I hope you found it interesting or enjoyed it at least. Please drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel as well to see more content like this in the future. I'll see you guys again soon.